Hello everyone, I wanted to talk about bullet journals today. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you know what a bullet journal is, or you've seen it on the internet. I'm not really gonna go into the details of what bullet journaling is, but I will talk a little bit more today about how I set mine up, how I use it literally for everything, and all the things that you need to know before you set up your bullet journal. So let's get into it. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about why I bullet journal. My husband Taz Smith has been bullet journaling for a really long time and he actually does videos about bullet journaling too. I'll link those down below in the description. But he invited me to start bullet journaling and I loved it for a really long time. But if you look on Pinterest, which is where I live basically because what girl doesn't love Pinterest, I was so overwhelmed. There was so many beautiful drawings and layouts and things like that. And I thought there is no way that I am able to do a bullet journal on a regular basis. There's no way I can plan everything and do all the things that I need to do because it's so hard. No one has time to lay all these things out because you're gonna have to plan time to plan out your bullet journal. And that's just really hard. And then I eventually started not writing in a bullet journal at all. I actually skipped it for about a year, but now I'm back and I'm so excited. Taz invited me to read the bullet journal method and it literally changed the game for me for bullet journaling. Bullet journaling doesn't have to be really hard. It doesn't have to be fancy. Honestly, my bullet journal probably isn't the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but it's functional. I am a full-time blogger and content creator and the most important thing for me is to stay organized because I also do social media for other companies and being able to keep all of that organized with everything that I'm doing sometimes is really hard but this has helped save me in doing all the things, all the things. So let's get into the bullet journal and I'll show you what I do on a daily basis. So if you look in the front cover, you can see I'm covering my phone number because in case it gets lost, I want it to be found. But in the front cover, you can see that there's the key for how everything is to be laid out in a bullet journal. I have found that reading the bullet journal method has really helped me be able to do all the things that I need to do with this key. And so I'm able to list all the tasks I need to do, mark when they're completed. Honestly, crossing things off my checklist is like the highlight of my day. And then I can move things to the next week, the next day, whatever I need to by migrating it. I can schedule things, I write notes for everything that I do. If I like listen to a class or a webinar, or I just have a thought, I can write down all of my notes. I can list important events that have been going on in my life and cross out things that don't matter. So let's flip over to February, since that's this month, but you honestly can plan for any month that you have. I wanted to show my calendar. So with the month of February, I wanted to list out every single day, and then as I go about my day, at the end of every single day, I can list the important things that happen so I don't ever forget them. So in the first day of February, I went on a frozen yogurt date with my sister-in-law, her boyfriend, and Taz. And then I have just like mundane things like grocery shopping so I can see the last time I went to the store to see if my food is still good. There was the Super Bowl, which honestly wasn't very exciting, but I still mentioned it anyway. And then I went and went to Starbucks all day and I watched The Bachelor. And I am sorry if you don't like The Bachelor, but I had to note it because I love The Bachelor now. And then on February for tasks, I list things that I need to get done during the month and throughout the month. So I have campaigns that I'm working on, brands that I'm working with, blog post ideas that I need to do during the month, and just a couple other things that I need to get done that I want to do before the end of the month. And so on the next page, it's my work log for all the companies that I do social media for. So I do freelance work and I do content creation for them. And then I have my February paid collaborations post so I'm able to note all the money that I made from my blog and things like that so that I'm able to track it whenever tax season comes around, which is close approaching. So I wanted to make sure that I keep everything in order so I'm able to keep track of the things that I'm doing. So this is where it'll most likely occur to you, but on this work log page and this paid collaborations page, you literally can do whatever you want, whether that's a habit tracker or you wanna see how many days you went to the gym, you can track how much water you drink, anything, you can do a food log, all of those things, that's just a couple things that I've put in every single one of the months that I have. 
And so this is the weekly layout that I do. So I have my week of everything that I need to get done during this week, things I can cross off the list, things I need to get done. And then on the next side, I have my daily logs. So I just list things kind of like a brain dump and everything that I need to get done. So I woke up at 6 a.m., what I do for the gym, what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because I'm trying to be mindful of that. And also things that I do during the day. I went to Starbucks to work on some blog posts, and this is the, what I did when I was at Starbucks. I went to Walmart and I got two clothing racks, and one of them is right behind me, so you can see that. And then just other things that I've been doing. So like things that I need to get done today, the notes for this video, honestly, everything that I have in this is something that I need to get written down. I'll have my daily logs just continue on for the rest of that page, and then I can continue it on on a next page that I have available. If I was smart, I would have just blocked out a couple pages so I'm able to write the daily log all in one spot, but I wasn't that smart this month, so I have another thing in the way. And I just have notes for different things. That's really important for me to have. And then on the next page, I just have a pitch series that a girl I follow has for talking to brands and being able to collaborate with people more. So I wanted to take notes on that. And then I'll continue the daily log or have notes for another webinar or thing like that on this side too. And so that's all I have set up for this month. It honestly isn't anything too crazy, but it's just really easy for me to keep track of everything that I'm doing. And bullet journaling is something I actually really enjoy doing and I love being able to incorporate this into my daily routine and be able to see the things that I'm able to do and not have to worry about what's going on and things like that. I know a lot of people prefer calendars like in your phone or in your computer. I have all those filled out too, but honestly, I found for myself that it's really hard to keep track of things. When they're in my phone, things can get lost or whatever. I know this can get lost, but when I write things down, it solidifies it in my brain that I actually wrote it down. So if you haven't tried bullet journaling or you're interested in trying it, let me know what your experience is or what you wanna see or any questions that you have about bullet journaling down in the comments. Let me know if you liked this video. If you wanna see more videos about bullet journaling, definitely let me know in the comments too. And if you wanna see more videos like this, I have a ton more videos on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.